Hey guys, it's Brian, and welcome back to another episode of Fiber Fridays here on Arrowhead Garage. Today, remember how we had to put in those trim studs for the chrome trim around the front window? Today, we're doing the back window. Since you have to put those studs in before you put your glass in, we got to get that done today. So let's get to doing that. It's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. I'm going to show you the proper distancing around the outside of that window, where to put your new tabs at, in case you're missing any of them, and then we will get them screwed in and ready, and then hopefully put a window in next week. So with that, I'm going to shut up. Let's get the wrenching on the 67 Firebird. <laughs> Now, if you watched my last video on how to do the front ones, very similar. We're going to take this tape, we're going to go around the edges, and then we'll mark the spots. We'll drill the holes, we'll insert in the new studs, we'll be done. So with that, let's mask up. Something tells me I'm going to run out of green tape. Now we'll see how far we can get along the, the bottom there. And that was about it. So I need to go get some blue tape now. We'll finish off with some blue tape on this bottom edge here. Nice, 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 nice. All right, so now we have our tape. Now we need to find out where to place our pinholes. I was a tape measure. Where would I be? Do -do -do -do. Gonna need a uh, marker and a tape measure to measure this all out. So let's go back to my notes and let's see. Let's do the pull two sides first, then we'll do the top and the bottoms. So on this side here, so my notes say at 3.3 and three quarters, the first pin. So, three and three quarters is right here. Then, it is 10 inches above that for our next pin. So, if we go there, 10 inches. Now again, you don't have to be super precise. So now we notice that's almost four inches there. Kind of see where this one's at. Yep, that's almost at the same uh, distance as that one. So let's go ahead and mark three and a half or three and three quarters up and then 10 from that on the other side. Come in, three and three quarters. About right there. Mark it. Come up 10. And again, it's not rocket science, guys. So just, just kind of eyeball it in. Okay, now we have our left and rights. Let's do our top now. Just for reference here, this here is 3.75 inches. This here is 10 inches on that. Starting on top, on the driver's side, your first pin is three and three quarters. So we'll come over, measure out to about there. That first one goes right there. So we know this one here is 3.75. The next one is six inches. So we're here. And the next one after that is six inches. And with that, we'll just make our lines. Remember, six inches, 
six inches. Now I'm gonna jump on this side, just make it a little bit easier. So the next one is seven and three quarters. So I'll come over seven and three quarters. About right there. So this is gonna be 7.75 inches. Next one is seven and a half. So from here, seven and a half. So that's 7.5 inches. And this one is five and a half. And there should be another one right here. That's, my notes say six, but it's actually about five and a half. Okay, so now on the bottom, we're gonna go this way, that way. First mark is three inches out. About right here. We'll put a three. Next one, four and a half. So about right there. We'll make that 4.5. Next one is five and a half. We'll mark that. We'll do 5.5. Next one after that is six and a half. About right there. Then this becomes 6.5. Now, this next one, going this way, so after that six and a half, you want another six and a half inch. So 6.5 is there as well. Now this next one, this next one is six inches. So about right there. And of course, the next one after that is gonna be six inches after that one. So we'll put six, and six, six and a quarter. About right there. And this one here is 6.5. Now, we have all of our limits. So we know this number is 3.75 here. We know this here is a big 10. Okay, we have all of our numbers laid out. So the next thing we need to do is we need to measure the depth of where the pin will lie in here. I found if you take four tongue depressors and stick them together, that's about the right width. So, taking our marker, and now going along wherever we see our, our black line, put a dot, and that's where we're gonna drill. Just go along and and hit all those. Now keep in mind, they don't have to be precise. So go on ahead and we'll come in this way. And this one. And this one. And this one. So it should be a total of 19 spots around your frame. Next, we're just gonna take a drill, and I have on this a 3 30 seconds bit to screw those in. Let me kind of get up close on these studs. So this here is that stud. You see it has a Phillips head, and then it has a spot where there's no threads, and there's threads. You're gonna screw this all the way down until it bottoms out, and that's going to give you enough to put your clip on. Now, these are supposedly stainless steel, so they shouldn't rust. But um, a buddy of mine on uh, online said he would put these in epoxy primer. I believe that was uh, Jonathan's dad. I think it's James is uh, Jonathan's dad's name. So anyways, we're going to go and put these in. I don't have any epoxy primer at the moment, but I want to finish up this video. So let's go ahead and screw the holes in, and let's screw these in. 
Guess we'll start here. There's one. There's the next one. Another one. I'm going to have to have a shop light because I have too much backlight coming in from the outside here. So, hope that will give me enough light to uh, see where I'm drilling. One. And our last hole. We got them all in. So now we'll grab our screwdriver and we'll start screwing these in. I'm gonna need a uh, small tip, small small tip screwdriver. Put it in there. Find our hole. And simply screw them in. Remember, screw them in all the way until they bottom out for the end of the threads. Okay, just like that. We'll do the next one. Okay, those two are in. Let's do those two over there. Shit, I forgot to draw these. <laughs> There's two for so both sides now. Okay, so we got the two on this side, we got the two on that side. Let's do this bottom part now. Kind of start over here on this side and we'll just work our way across. And we have one last one to do on this bottom here. So get this one set into place. Okay, let's do the top now. We're gonna to move this light. Side note, you buy these club studs in 10 packs. We need 19 to do the back window. So make sure you buy two bags and you'll have an extra one left over that you can throw in your toolbox. All right, there's that first one. We'll just keep moving our way across.
Okay, all 19 studs are in. Let me get you in a little closer so you can see what's going on here. Okay, here we go. So we're down here in the driver's side corner, 3.75 up. You put one there, you measure up 10. You put another one in there, you're coming around. You measure out to about right here, 3.75 for that one. Six inches, next one. Six inches, next one. 7.5 over there. 7.5 for another one. From there, another 7.75, this one. And 7.5 and a half there, five and a half to this one, six to this one, and that will kick into your corner. And then here, remember 10 inches down, and then 3.75. And it's also 3.75 for up here as well if you need to. So that gets you in. Then on the bottom, three inches over, four and a half inches over, five inches over, six and a half inches over. Then another six and a half inches over, then another six and a half inches over, then six inches over, six inches over, then six and a half inches over. That will get you all the way around to find all those tabs. Well, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video on how to install the rear window chrome trim pegs or pins around. So if you had to do some work to your uh, fill panel here, maybe some quarters, maybe a new roof like we did, and you have to replace those, now you know where they go, how to get them, and how to install them. So until next week, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Share this video out with your other Firebird and Camaro friends, first-gen cars. And with that, we will see you next week for another issue of Firebird Fridays. See you then. Uh -huh.